Hi, it's Nat here from Studio Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to export an MP3 from GarageBand. If you want this short, simple answer, all you have to do is select the menu titled Share, and select Export Song to Disk, and then from this menu, make sure you have MP3 selected, give your song a name, tell it where you want to save the file, and then hit Export. Uh, that's the short, simple answer. Um, but that's uh, there are a few other important things you should know that will make your life a lot easier when exporting your tracks. So when you select export, uh, it's going to guess where the start of your song is and where the finish of your song is based on your regions. It's going to go to the start where the first region starts and it's going to export all the way to the end of your final region. You may want to uh, have the song finish a bit earlier than that or create a fade out and you might not want the songs to start right there, you might want it to start here. So basically, uh, you need to tell it where the song starts and finished by using the cycle region. So you can engage the cycle region by hitting this little uh, icon right here, or you can hit the C button to turn that on and off. Uh, sometimes if you just click on this ruler up here on the cycle range, it will turn it on and off as well, depending on where you have it there. Um, now, I want this song to fade out, so I have to uh, engage the master track. And to do that, I go to the track menu and select show master track. The shortcut for that is shift command M, shift command M to show and hide it. And I want to create a automated fade out at the end of this track. So to show the uh, automation, I hit the A button to turn it on and off. And then right down here, you can see I've already done it. On this master track, there's a fade out. Now I want my cycle region to, to be right at the end of that fade out. So it finishes at the perfect time. Um, now when, that I have that set up, when I go to share and export song to disk, uh, what I want to do is check this little box here called export cycle area or length of selected regions if cycle is turned off. So that's going to then say, I want the cycle area to be the length of my track. I'm going to give this track a name. I'm going to export it simply to my desktop for the moment. And when I am using MP3, I very, very often used the highest quality uh, GarageBand uh, supports up to 256 kilobits per second. And uh, you can actually go higher than that, and I'll show you how in a moment. Um, but I would never export at 128 or 64. I don't see the reason for it. The only reason you would ever select uh, lower than the highest quality is if you want a smaller file. That's, uh, so if you export a really long song or like a meditation or a podcast and it's too big a file to email, you can go down in quality that will create a smaller file. But, um, you know, with broadband internet and cheap hard drives these days, you just don't need to go any lower than the highest quality, really, in my opinion. So then when I hit export, it's going to uh, go through in uh, do an offline bounce for me. So it's not going to play the song. It's just going to go as fast as it can, as fast as the processor can handle it. And then now it's converting to MP3 for me. And then that track should be on my desktop here. So there we are. There's my MP3. Nice and easy. And that will have that nice fade out at the end of the track there. And um, if you don't know how to do a fade out, normally uh, when you open up the automation on a track, it will look like this. There'll be like no line there. You, there's kind of like a hidden line on the track. So make sure you have volume selected here and just click anywhere to get that master track, get a node on the master track. So you want to make sure that you're starting here at zero dB, which is zero dB full scale which is the loudest that you uh, want to go in the in the digital realm. And then basically you double click on this golden line now that you've activated it and you create nodes and you can then select the length of your fade out uh, at the end of the track. 
where you want it to start and where you want the silence to end there. So that's how I uh, export MP3s. The other way you can do it, if you have a third party converter um, for MP3s, or you can actually do it in iTunes. I've got another video on that. I'll um, put a link to that in the description. Uh, you can export to disk and select WAV file, which is full uncompressed, um, you know, audio. And I, I select 24 bits, so I get the highest resolution. And um, I'll just call this number two. If I export this as a WAV file, uh, sometimes if you want to get even higher quality MP3, the maximum, which is 320 kilobits per second, you can first export it as a WAV. And then I have a third party converter called Pro Audio Converter. Um, you can use iTunes, as I said before, but this is a nice and easy way to do it. So I just go open with Pro Audio Converter. That's a pretty cheap little program. Um, I'll see if I can find a link to that and I'll pop it in the description as well. And then I can then go to 320 kilobits per second and I can encode that as an MP3. So this is going to uh, create an MP3 in the same directory uh, as where the file is. So that's uh, another way you can do it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. If you want to learn more about GarageBand, uh, I have my Udemy course now available, Gar how to use GarageBand, the complete guide for Mac. And um, you can get that pretty much on a, a discount at the moment uh, on Udemy. It's not going to be as cheap as it is at the moment forever. So if you want to have a look at that, there is also a link to that in the description. Okay, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.